Well, hello, stampers, and happy hump day. Today is June 15th, and today you are creating with Colleen. My name is Colleen Magnus, and I am a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator on the East Coast of Virginia, and I will teach you what to do. I may teach you what not to do, but I promise to teach you something. And the biggest reason I tell you that today is because I have made the same card six times and made the mistake five times. So uh, we'll see how lucky I get today. But I am very excited to be with you. I am going to share this tea boutique, uh, beautiful cards with you. We're going to get creating in just a little bit. And But first, I want to tell you why I'm really excited. This Friday, June 16th, from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock, I am going to have a retired stamp sale at my house. And when I say retired stamp sale, I have stamps. I have designer paper, ribbons, embellishments. Um, oh my goodness, hard to find stamps you've never seen before. Punches, bundles, framed art. Please come and shop. It will be this Friday, June 17th from two o'clock to seven o'clock. And this Saturday on the 18th from 10 until noon. And what's great is for all the retired merchandise that you purchase, you are also gonna earn gift certificates. So if you purchase $100 in retired merchandise, you're going to get a $10 gift certificate to use off a of future purchase. Spend $150, you now get $15 gift certificate, and so on. So I hope you'll join me. I live in the Great Bridge area of Chesapeake, and you can send me a private message. I'll give you my address, but I do hope you will come and shop. I think you'll be glad you did. So today, I am going to create this card, actually, I have it in all five in colors. Stampin' Up! did an amazing job with our in colors this year. They hit the ground running. Uh, they're the 2022-2024 in colors, and they are Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, and Tahitian Tide. And this one features the Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky, Sky colors. So real quickly, I'm just gonna show you the products that we are using. And I will explain a couple different ways that we make the teacups. And um, of course, after I go live, I always um, post a picture of the measurements and the pieces that we used. So real quick, on page 12 and 13 of the new annual catalog, um, this pretty much was my inspiration right here. I dressed it up a little bit and changed a few things, but never be afraid to case the catalog. You know, we have wonderful samples in here. I mean, look at these gorgeous samples. Don't make creating hard. Pick a layout, pick a design, make it exactly like it is. That is up to you, but just create and have fun because that's really what it's all about. So T Boutique has a suite where you can actually get an, a, a plethora, I love that word, of uh, products for only $67. You will get the cup of tea stamp set which is really cute. It is a photopolymer stamp set and has 20 pieces in it. Along with the stamp set, you will get the dies. So the card that I'm actually gonna demonstrate for you uses these two dies together. But what's so nice is when you look at this stamp set here, the, the um, lemon, lime, whatever you wanna make it, your teacups, the uh, leaves, the heart, the tag, the flowers, all of those have coordinating dies to go with this. So it's, it's just a great set and a lot of fun to play with. So you get the bundle. You also get a pack of the 6x6 T Boutique Designer Series paper. So these are the colors. You have beautiful colors on one side. I'm just going to go quickly because I really have to um, start pricing all this merchandise that I have. Joanne, I wish you could come from where you are. She lives in New York. I'm having a huge sale this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Lots of goodies going on. But today, as you can see, golly day, how many patterns do we have? We have 12. Can you see all these in here? We have 12 different patterns of the designer series paper. Um, so you are going to get 48 sheets of this beautiful paper. And then what I love is on the back side... Let me see if I can pick these up and just turn them. Look at all the beautiful patterns you have on the back side. 
So it doesn't have to be all about teacups. This could be about anything. It's just a wonderful suite of designer series paper. That is included, included in the $67 suite. And then this is what I think I enjoyed the most. You get no cards. So you get 20 no cards and envelopes. Of course, you could see the end colors. And then the envelopes are stamped. They're absolutely beautiful. So you get four of each color. And that's what made creating so easy for me. So getting started. Again, this is a card that I'm going to make for you. And then I'll show it to you. They differ just a little bit, but I'll show them to you in the other five colors. Plus, I have some other nice samples to share from the DT Boutique Suite. So here is your card and envelope. And let's get started. So what you're going to need, I might even try to pull this whole thing over and see if it fits right in here. How is that? Let me check my screen. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let me pull it up here. Normally, I just pull over to pieces. So you're going to need just a scrap piece of white. You, of course, need your coordinating envelope and card. You have a piece of the three inch by four and a quarter Orchid Oasis that is embossed with the gingham folder, which really is a nice complement to this suite. Then you have the stitched rectangle. This is um, out of basic white, and um, I love it because it is stitched, and this size is uh, right at like two and a half by four inches. That's the die that you want to use. Now, the nice thing about the in color six by six designer series paper is it also, we have the patterns that come in the suite, but we have just the colors, and they're really, really nice. They actually come in the in colors, neutrals, regals, brights. You can buy them for any of Stampin' Up's colors that we have. But this one here, I use the Starry Sky. And what I did is, um, this is four and a quarter by three inches. So what I did is I took that piece, I measured up a half inch here, and just cut to the top. And that's how I got my angle for the inside. I don't know that I've showed you the inside. Wait till you see it. That's where our little treat is hidden. And then here you have a two and five eighths by three quarter inch Orchid Oasis designer series paper. You need a little string. Love, love, love this adorable little lemon. We will put that together. And then a tea bag. And then for this one, I'm using the two dies that coordinate with each other. So the solid tea uh, cup that I have is going to be your Orchid Oasis. And the darker one is going to be the Starry Sky. And I love how the, those two go right together. So if I didn't show you the inside, let me show you. This is the card we are making. And that is the inside. So let's get together soon a great little card with a little tea bag to give to somebody sweet. I'm trying to, let me get my mat straight here. That's driving me crazy. See where I'm at. I actually pushed my stand too far back, so I feel like I'm reaching over my table to create. But it is what it is. Okay, so with a um, photopolymer stamp set, you want to put something underneath it. And I love using our paper piercing mat. So I'm going to take that two and a half by four inch stitched rectangle. And I'm using shaded spruce for my green. So when you put it in here, technically you wouldn't want to stamp like right smack in the middle because when you look at your teacup, it's kind of off-centered. You know, you have to have room for your handle. So if you did it right smack in the middle, you would kind of be hanging over. So you could, you know, eye this, definitely eye it. Um, you can kind of hold a teacup up to it. But basically, when I do this, I'm just gonna want to, I just go over to my left a little bit more, and then I'll stamp my image. Because it's, with it being over to the left, when I center this in here, my teacup will be pretty centered too. So that works pretty well. So I'm going to leave this for just a minute while I have my ink pad out. I'm going to make a little tea bag. So they have the cute little stamp. I am going to use Memento Black. I'm just going to stamp that. And then on the inside, which is so great with the photopolymer stamps because you can see so well, it says, um, it's time for tea. 
Let me see. I'm just right inside. So now I have my tag. Now they actually have a die for this. Personally, I think it's such an easy cut. And I am old school. I do not mind using my paper snips because they are the best scissors in the world. I'm just going to cut this. We're going to keep it simple today. Simple is always good. Y'all know that. So come around. So Joanne, I hope you are having a good day. I hope the weather is beautiful where you are at. So here's my tea bag. So now that I have this, I can just set it aside. And I am going to put together my teacup and my lemon. So I find we do have adhesive sheets where you could run this all through and then there's adhesive all the back. But I use the Tombow liquid glue. You do have to have a light hand, which thankfully I do. But what I love about the Tombow liquid glue is that it's tacky. So it's gonna really hold your one piece to the other. Then it dries quickly. So I'm using my craft uh, rubber mat here. So if I get adhesive on it, it's not gonna really stick or create a mess. So I'm just, as you can see this, just put in the tiniest dots, because again, it is strong. Then I will pick this up, and I'm just gonna lay it right on top. I also like it because then I could move it if I need to. Now that looks pretty good. If I had glue in here, you could take like a damp um, paper towel, just damp, and dab it up, and you could get that liquid glue off of there. I'll probably do it on the lemon so you'll be able to see. Oh, perfect weather for a tea party. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So for this one, I'll do the same. I have my lemon. And you can put a little bit bigger dot where like you have the space, like in the center there. But again, just a little dab will do you. So I will pick this up. I always have a hard time doing little. Let me chase it to the end here. All righty. And I will lay this on top. But again, what's nice is with the liquid glue, if you need to move it any little bit, you have that few seconds that you can do so. So with these two, I am ready to, um, I think, start putting this together. So let me see. One of the things, okay, I caught myself. Woo, thank God, because remember when I told you I'll teach you what to do or what not to do? On this card, the first five times I made it, I literally did not put my tea bag on before I put this on with dimensionals. And I don't know what it was. I think I just got so excited about the teacup, I just wasn't even thinking about it. So what I had to do, never try to pull off a dimensional because they're pretty strong. I come in here with my snips and I actually cut the dimensional. Then I kind of peeled this back, taped it on the back, um, put a little adhesive on the dimensional and I was good to go. But in a perfect world, what you would do is you would put your adhesive on the back of your tag first. And you're gonna put a dimensional on here. So I have my string with my tea bag, but then I like to take a standard dimensional and put it right in the middle over that string so I know it's really gonna be anchored on there and stay tight. So now I can do this so easily. I will take my tea bag, probably gonna put it on this side because I love all this detail. So if I put it there, say, I'm just gonna kind of loop it over because I want it to stick out above. I put this right on the adhesive there. I can trim off the excess. And again, get your dimensionals and put it on that string so you know it's gonna stay. And then you can pop on some big dimensionals, a um, couple little ones. You know, you get so many of them. It's such a great price. You can get carried away. What I like to do for the handle, just to make sure I have it, is I am going to cut this dimensional in half, this teeny one, and just put that on my, my teacup. So, hey, Sandy, she loves this sweep. I do too, Sandy, I really do too. And Joyce is here today. And um, yes, I love this. So what I'm gonna do here 
is I have this piece. I have my cup ready to go. I'm gonna take this. This is the Orchid Oasis Designer Series paper. And I'm gonna to wait to put it on because I wanna kinda of slide it up underneath my cup so I know where to get it at. So what I'll do first is I will peel these off. And da -da -da, put my tea bag over here. And so now I can just kind of line these up. So it looks like all my little leaves are in my cup. And I and again, never push anything down till it's absolutely where you want it. I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on my strip. And I can just slide this up in here to see exactly how far down I want. Cause this is just kind of looks like it's sitting on here. You know me, I always like to go a small smidgen over, so I'm sure it goes edge to edge. So just trim that off. And you have this part of your card. And then this is gonna get mounted on that gingham folder that we have. So I'm gonna put this right on here. And now I can go ahead and take this dimensional off since I have it all together and try to decide where I want to put, I think I'll put it there, my little tea bag. So I have this part going on. I'm gonna take my lemon and I can actually put the lemon flat. I could pop it up, but I kind of like the idea of just having the tea bag popped up. So I will put that on there. And then the thing that makes the background so very, very easy is of course, the already made cards that we have with all the end colors. So I wanna pop this up, give it some good dimension. Sandy, have you created with your suite yet? Um, I'm sure you have. Sandy uh, Alexander does gorgeous work. She is a sister demonstrator and um, she's a sister in many ways. She's a sister in Christ. She shares my uh, monthly birthday with me. We are both have birthdays in June. Sandy has always been a blessing. So here you have the card so far. Now for the um, flowers, what's nice about the flowers is you actually have them where you could stamp right on the leaves. Um, but here, oh, it's so funny I asked you that, Sandy, because yes, I'm going to show you your card. <laughs> You had this before I did. Hello. You know I hit a big number this year. It's starting to scare me because I'm doing some stuff that's kind of flighty. More so than usual. But it will be what it'll be. Always is. So what I'll do here is I have, uh, again, my tea bag. I went ahead and uh, there is a die that cuts those flowers. So I went ahead and um, cut the flowers out just to save us some time. So I will put these down. And what I'm going to do, again, I'm just going to get a small dimensional, a little mini dimensional, and cut. And that's going to go on the large flower. Let me put them on there. This is a teeny tiny piece, but these are strong. So I could put a flower here. I can put one over on this side. We'll put that up high. And then you have these really teeny tiny ones. So I'm gonna take the take a pick tool and um, I am going to put my glue down first. So let me see. So here and here. So I can just take one of these smaller ones and see it has a little gummy on the end, which is perfect for putting these flowers down. I put one there and put one here, because I don't know that my fingers can do that tiny stuff. So Leanne says this is her new favorite. Um, hey, Doris, glad you could join us too with Leanne um, from Wisconsin, Sandy. And I saw, it's funny because, again, the way these, I'm going to have to research that, why I can't scroll through my comments, they come up. But Joanne, I saw that you were a Gemini too. So you, Sandy, and I, Yep, there it is. Happy birthday, Geminis. You will be 65 on the 18th. Well, happy birthday to you. 
Um, I was actually 60 on June 6th. And um, so far, so good. I'm loving it. We celebrated in a great big way. Um, oh my goodness, I, we went to dinner with friends one night. I had my family and all the grandbabies. The next night, um, my mom had dinner for us. Then I went to my sister, spent the night at her beach house. It, you know, and it just went on and on and on. I really think there was seven days that I did not cook. I was so spoiled. So I'm kind of liking the 60s so far. So, oh, so it's, okay. So Sandy's a cancer on the 24th. Okay, well, I still consider you my birthday sister because we're both in June. So this is, let me get back to my stamping. Um, oh, get carried away with all this fun. So this is, the. these are the flowers, not this is. And then I'm just going to take the small rhinestones. And again, the pick -a tool is awesome. It's great for that. Yes, she is still a June baby. I, I totally agree. June babies. Good summer babies. You know, that was always the best because you split some... Oh, I got two together there. You split summer and Christmas. You know, it's like my son Daniel. He is born in July. And that is great because as a kid, especially if he needed clothes, he got clothes in July. He got clothes at December. Where my other son, Tyler, he is a December baby. So it's kind of harder for him, you know, you get everything at one time. So here we have our actual card. And then when I open it, I'm going to take the piece that I had cut. And again, that's just half inch up. This is three inches. I just came across. And when I put it in here, I am only going to um, actually glue this, this side, the bottom, and on up. Because if I do anything different... Well, guess what? I won't get my tea bag inside. And I do like to use the liquid glue for this. You could use your tape because you don't need a lot of room, but it just, it's a little bit thicker. Where with your Tombow liquid glue, you can always get a nice thin line of glue. So I'll pick this up, put it right in here. And again, I love that you can slide it a little bit. Get it exactly where you want it. And in the top, I love this. Let's get together soon. That was also one of the things that I was really focusing on, especially at the beginning of the year. Um, I think at my age, especially, listen to me, at my age, um, you know, I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff that it's really not about the stuff anymore. It's about time. So that is my goal this year is to give the gift of time and to have the gift of time with others for the birthdays. So I believe in going to lunches, again, just getting together because I have so many people that I love and don't get to see as much. And um, I love that gift of time. So that is my, my uh, focus for the year and hopefully the years after. So Doris, let's see, Doris, um, she's cancer on July 8th. Oh, you'll be celebrating 77 years with about 20 Stampin' Friends. Good for you, Doris. I think that's a great way to celebrate. Absolutely. Always celebrate it. I told people years ago, never give me black balloons. Never give me black balloons. I celebrate every single birthday because each one is a gift. So, um, oh, Sandy's family is heading to Great Wolf Lodge tomorrow for a few days. Good for you, Sandy. I know you'll have fun, especially with your grandbaby. So here, coming back to the card, you just slide your little tea bag in there. Let's get together soon and it's time for tea. But you can see how colorful this card is and how beautiful the card is because I used the card bases that we have that are in the suite and um, the end colors all blend very well together. So let me show you some of the other cards. So this one again uses the Orchid Oasis and the Starry Sky. Let me get back on my screen here just a little bit. Okay. Now next, again, nice coordinating envelope. You gotta love that. This one here, this uses the Tahitian Tide and the Parakeet Party. So with these here, again, look how pretty these cards are. But again, I think the product did the work. Now this sweet sorbet, I loved. So you could see with these two, these two cups, 
I actually used the two dies together. So I used a detail die and then the solid cup underneath. And I think that creates a beautiful um, teacup. But so does the designer paper. You can just take the designer paper. This one is Sweet Sorbet. And here I just used a solid cup and cut it out of the designer paper. Here, this one, the, the base is the Orchid Oasis. So here is your card. And this one, I used the um, Starry Sky on the background and I highlighted the white on it. And I thought that was really pretty. But every one of these, when you open them up, same design on the inside for your tea cards. And then last but not least, you have the base of the Parakeet Party. And I mean, look how nice they match. Really, really are nice. And then here, same thing. Now this is the cup that you can actually stamp. They do have a stamp. I'll go ahead and show y'all. You do have a stamp here that actually has the leaves on it, and I'll show you that in one of the sample cards in just a minute. But you also have a stamp with the stripes. And that one is stamped. So really a fun, fun suite that we have here. So let me just put these aside for one second. And I'm going to share a couple other samples. So it's crazy. Um that I asked Sandy about her card because I did get your swap card. I forgot I even did that swap. So this was Sandy's card. And um, again, she stamped, which was nice, on the, um, can I hold it up so you can see a little bit. She actually stamped on the solid cup, well, and well, the cup and cut it out. So this was really cute. Love it, Sandy. Then this one was created by uh, one of my team members, my Stampin' family, Terry Merriman. And this was where she stamped it, but she colored the leaves. If you could see that. And then, of course, just a strip of that designer paper underneath. Now, this one, I believe Tanya Reed did. I think we did this for Better Your Best. I think it was. Our, we always have events for our team members, and they definitely get to stamp. So here I have this, and she actually stamped the Let's Get Together Soon on the teacup, the solid teacup, and just put strips of the designer paper there. And really, if you look at this, we talk about case in the catalog, you see that card pretty much is right here in the catalog. So again, don't think you have to come up with everything on your own. We call it casing. It's copy and share everything. So very, very cute. And then last but not least, this was from one of my talented team members, Lee Fano. And this is a gate card because it opens as such. So let's get together. So I hope I gave you some in good inspiration for the um, tea boutique cards. But don't forget, those who came on late and live local, that I am having my retired stamp set Retired Stamping Everything sale this Friday, June 17th from 2 till 7 at my house in Great Bridge and Saturday from June 18th from 10 to noon. Again, in the Great Bridge area of Chesapeake off Cedar Road. So if you need my address, um, please go ahead and send me a private message and I'll be glad to give it to you. But everything I have is going to be drastically reduced because it was funny. You know, they said, I always thought if I just had time, I could go through all my retired stuff and clean the stamp room. Well, COVID came. God knows we had tons of time. Um, did not happen. For two years, it did not happen. So I think it comes down to that that wasn't the problem. I don't think time was a problem. I think you just have to really be in the mood to purge. And ladies and gentlemen, I am in the mood to purge. So I hope we will, I will see you there. Um, if you want to place an order for anything, you can go to my creatingwithcolleen.com blog, and you can use this host code for the rest of June. But I hope you all had a great time. Um, I know I did. I really did enjoy creating. And I appreciate all of you showing up. So yes, Cindy, better late than never. I live by that motto. And the nice thing is it's all recorded. So you can always go back and catch the beginning um, of the live that I have. So happy stamping, y'all. I will come to you next Wednesday on, goodness, June 22nd. Can you believe that? They just go by quicker and quicker. 
But anyways, I will be here and we will be creating and we will soon be focusing on that new holiday catalog that is out. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Do something creative. And thank you so much again for all your wonderful stamping support. Bye-bye.